Hello everyone and welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting square roots and we need to find the value of this square root. On the first side, this square root is so hard because we have all different numbers and how can we do with it? Okay, I want to suggest you one interesting method how to solve this. Let this 60 as n. So let 60 equal to n. So, we will get square root of n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 times n plus 3 plus 1. Just put an n instead of 60. Okay. Next we're gonna do... So, we have a product. So, this n we can multiply with this n plus 2, and this n plus 1 we can multiply with this n plus 3. Because we, d we don't need an order if we have a product, yeah? So, let's multiply this n to this n plus 2. Okay, we will get n square plus 3n, and next parentheses, n square plus 3n and plus 2 and plus 1. Yeah, Just multiply this n by this parentheses and this n plus 1 by this parentheses. So we will get something like that. Okay, what we're gonna do next? We have this n square plus 3n and this n square plus 3n. So we can let this n square plus 3n as, for example, t. So let n square plus 3n as t. So we will get t square root t times t plus 2 and plus 1. Yeah. Just substitute this n square plus 3n by t. Okay, let's multiply this. We will get square root t square plus 2t and plus 1. So this is a formula, so we can write it as square root of t plus 1 square. We can simplify this a little bit because we have square root and square sign, so it will be equal to t plus 1. So, under this square root we will get t plus 1, so t n square plus 3n, and plus 1. Just the, instead of t we write this. Other substitution. Okay, n square plus n, n square 60 square plus 3 times 60 and plus 1. It will be equal to 3600 plus 180 and plus 1. And it'll, it will be equal to 3681. So, really good question, a really good algebra question. We just a little bit simplify like this, make a two substitution, t and n, and we will get a really good answer to this. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching.